be slow and be safe still. We're not in the clear just yet. Not yet. Well, the ice and snow mix of uh, much of our viewing area is starting to melt, and that includes parts of Midtown Mobile that saw a lot of ice throughout the middle of the day. Fox 10 News reporter Michael Brannon, he visited Midtown this morning. So what does it look like now, Michael? Hey, Letitia, right now the sun is out. It feels like a nice summer day to what we've been comp uh, comparing it to here in the past two days. But some areas in Midtown are still seeing some of that ice, particularly in the shade. Take a look. This was the scene earlier on Houston Street at Conti Street. And you can see the cars delicately driving over that ice to prevent some slipping there. Barrett Baker lives in Midtown. She described the conditions to me the last two days. Take a listen. We've been locked inside because of the ice and we don't want to fall, which I already did yesterday, taking my doll on a walk. I fell down those stairs, but I'm okay. <laughs> I um, had to de-ice my car and I had to Google how to do it because we're from Mobile and we don't know how to de-ice any windows. So I had to YouTube how to do it and it took 45 minutes, but that's okay. I'm sure there's an easier way. <laughs> Today's the first day I'm going in my car out of the house because I have a major cabin fever. <laughs> I really do. Well, there you heard it from Barrett Baker, a Midtown resident. And uh, right now here in Midtown, we're here at the Loop near the Walgreens. And we do still, still see some, uh, some ice on the ground, like I said, in those shady areas. But for the most part, it's pretty much melted. Most of the streets are looking good right now. The traffic has definitely picked up from what we saw this time yesterday. So that is definitely some good news. Coming up later at 5 o'clock, we're going to tell you about the conditions at the airport. Mobile Regional Airport reopened today. You're going to hear from some travelers out there. But for now, reporting live at The Loop, Michael Brannon, Fox 10 News. Of ice covering the bridges. The winter storm has been a big problem for people trying to get from point A to point B, not only on the road, but in the air, too. That's true. Fox 10 News reporter Michael Brannon is live in Midtown. Now, Michael, you visited the airport earlier today. I did, Bob. Mobile Regional Airport reopened at noon today, and Berkeley Aeroplex, they opened back up at 10 a.m. this morning. And even while those flights were canceled, those traveling, they just simply wanted to make it home. Gates were empty this morning at Mobile Regional Airport, making for a nearly desolate terminal and upset travelers. So here another day, I was actually going to go back out in town and get another hotel and get my rental car back, but I think I'm just going to crash here in the airport. Chief Petty Officer John McGilvery with the U.S. Navy came to Mobile on Sunday and has been stuck here ever since after two canceled flights, including one this morning. I felt like today shouldn't have been canceled because obviously the weather is clearing up, so, and there are plenty of flights that are leaving, uh, but what are you going to do? And he's not the only one. I was supposed to fly out yesterday at 5, but uh, rescheduled for this morning, and that flight got canceled, and now I'm on standby for a flight later today. Well, I was supposed to fly out yesterday, and I'm hoping to get out at 3 o'clock today, so one more day in Mobile wasn't bad, but... It wasn't that good. Last check, the flights coming in and out of Mobile Regional Airport are nearly back on schedule. Nothing was canceled, but of course there were some delays, especially with connecting flights in and out of Atlanta. We all know about those issues that Atlanta has been having here the past few days. But for those travelers, they are just one step closer getting back to their final destination. Coming up at 530, we're going to have a little bit on the economic impact of this winter storm. For now, reporting in the, at the loop, Michael Brandon, Fox 10 News. From a lot of businesses in the area basically been shut down for the past two days. That's true. Fox 10 News reporter Michael Brandon is live in Midtown. Mobile. Now, Michael, you visited some local businesses today. What did you discover? Yeah, I did, Bob. I went over to Trax Tires in West Mobile, and let me tell you, if you've been out in the past two days, you'll probably realize that, uh, that there's not much activity going on. Businesses are closed, not many people on the town, but today I did go to Trax Tires in West Mobile on Schillinger Road, and there the marketing director, Kim McKean, she told me that the storm did have an effect on their business. Take a listen. Most of our employees are hourly, and so not only did they lose um, money, money this week, but of course we did also because no one was traveling. We've had a lot of people come in today with wanting us to check their air pressure because when it gets cold outside, your tire actually loses its air pressure, and so especially driving on ice and then the cold air that came in. So today, that's probably been the biggest, the biggest issue. 
Well, luckily for uh, Trax Tires, there, there, uh, the 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 storm, the the ice has warmed up, and the it's the streets have melted. I should say the temperatures have warmed up. The streets have melted, and uh, their business has picked up. So that's good for them. But for right now, here in Midtown, earlier we talked about the conditions here. There were still some slick roads here in Midtown. A lot of trees and shady areas. Right now, here, there's still very little, uh, very little ice on the grounds here, and you can tell this is in some shaded areas. And so. Um, Right now, this is really what the conditions are like in Midtown. But other than that, the traffic is moving along very smoothly. I mean, it's just like any other afternoon at 5:30. So, uh, so traffic is is really much different than what we've seen in the past two days. No slipping and sliding, and uh, driving at 10 miles an hour that we've seen uh, very much. So, those are the conditions right now here in Midtown at the Loop. For now, reporting live, Michael Brandon, Fox 10 News, Bob Lanise.